What up, everybody? My name is Mark Galloway, and this is vlog number 20. Yep, vlog number 20, and this is going to be a pretty special vlog because I am going to Orlando, Florida. I'm going to Orlando, Florida because it's Monster Jam World Finals 20, and this is the first World Finals, aside from St. Louis 1999, to, to be held outside of Vegas. So, with that being... Orlando, Florida, taking place at Camping World Stadium this year and the following year. And then where it's going to go next, hopefully East Rutherford, New Jersey, but who knows. But anyways, um, I'm sorry, I apologize for that light right there. So, so I just got out of work. It was a really hard day. I'm really exhausted. I have to, I'm ready to take a shower now. So, one of the things I'm going to do before I go to the airport... I have to make sure I have everything in my bag. And also, this is this is going to be the very first Monster Jam show in years that I will not be recording. Because, and, this, and this will also be the first time, you know, when since I'm not recording, this will be the first time, just like since probably just like a few years, that I'm just watching a Monster Jam show, you know, just like how I used to do as a kid. So, oh, and the other reason why I'm not going to record it is because Foul Motorsports says... You cannot film our shows, or else we will take down your videos, and if you keep doing it, your channel will be terminated. And I really still think that's a coward move. They should just knock that off. That's one of the stupid things Feld is doing today. So anyways, um, oh, but you will see some, a little bit of the pit party things. That's the only thing you will see in the vlog. I will also show some behind the scenes of what's going on in Orlando and such like that. It might not be very long, but hopefully I'll catch some good moments when I can. And also in Orlando, Florida, I will be going to the world's biggest McDonald's. You will see a brief moment of that in the vlog, but most of that's going to be on LEGO Fan 506. So, I'm just going to take a shower, get dressed, make sure I have everything I have in my luggage, and then we are ready to have some fun. And I also have to make, I'm, and even though I won't be filming the show, I will be bringing a couple of cameras for the, not only the vlog, but hopefully just so I can, you know, save some storage, not only on my phone, but you know, I just want to have some extra clips as well. And also I will be documenting the trip over there on the way there and on the way back because, well, I'm flying over there, but on my way back, I'm taking an Amtrak train. This is my second time taking an Amtrak train and, um... The last time I had I took an Amtrak train was uh, was um 2010 when I went to Orlando that year back in 2010 when I was going to the Disney Resort or something. And this is also my third time going to Orlando. The first time I went there was 2006 when I was going to Universal Studios. The second time as I just said was uh, when I went to the Animal Kingdom, that's it. And now this is my third time. This time for a Monster Jam show and hopefully I'll go next year. And it's my money, but you know, right now I want to see if I can try to go to the uh, Monster Jam All Star Challenge in Vegas and see where we go from there. But anyways, I'm gonna get ready and I'll get back to you guys soon. All right, so I just got out of the shower and got dressed. It was very much needed. So, um, pretty much I have everything I need in my bag. I just need to uh, get my glasses cases, um, and I also got a poncho in there. Um, I was reading weather's over the the past couple days in Orlando that it's supposed to be rainy. I did just check it that it's supposed to be not anymore. Um, but I'm still bringing a couple. Well, I'm still bringing them just in case. And also, I have my laptop in here. And I might have to bring some accessories. And I have to remember to get my camera and such. In here is where I got my tickets for the train shows. Envelope for me and Sarah. And... This is, oh, oh, this is my ticket for the plane ride. So I'm just double checking to make sure I have everything I need. I'm going to check one more time and I'm going to pack my cameras. And also speaking of cameras, uh, the new one that I have right here, uh, this is a Canon, uh, Canon PowerShot um, Elf, um, Elf 190IS. I got this because for one, I wanted to um, get a camera that's more fitting in case if um, if I go to a Monster Jam event that says you have to have clear bags only, which Orlando was one of them, and I also um, if it's if I have like this camera right here, 
and that it's too big to fit in if I have too many stuff in there I have to bring a smaller camera and then make sure it shoots quality video it does but what I don't like about it is that it takes too much storage because when I used when I brought this to Philadelphia when I had too many stuff in my bag um, after I filmed it um, there was a uh, a lot of storage and it took me a few days to get the Philly show in the files so yeah okay I'm just gonna put a few stuff in there just check make, double check make sure everything's in there and then make sure I have to, the stuff I need to put into my carry-on bag so I'll get back to you soon okay guys so I'm I'm dressed so basically I already said that part but I got the last of my things I still need to really double check and make sure I have everything I need and I'm just really making sure that I have what I need for the carry-on. So, I just got an email that my flight has been delayed from um, 2, um, what was it, two, from 2.05, no, from 2.40 to 2.58. So, um, yeah, so not too bad, only 18 minutes later, so... um. Actually, I'll have to talk to my dad. Maybe I'll still have to go for my original departing time just in case if they say – the email does say that, like, it can be reduced. And um, I did read the weather. Um, it is it is overcast, but it didn't say it was going to rain here in New York. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to talk to my dad and, and see if he could just, like, still drive me because, like, you know, we I never know if my – the, you know, my delaying time of departure is going to go back to my, you know, the timing of the original departure. But I'll have to wait. But I'll have to see. It might still be delayed, but, you know, I want to see if, she'll, if he'll still be able to drop me off at that time. So, anyways, um, that's a little bit of an update. My camera has finished charge, charging. Um, one of my cameras, actually. And, yeah, I'm just going to double check one more time and then make sure I'm all set to go. And that's it. And... Hopefully my title belt still goes through the TSA. I still have a little bit of paranoia of it, you know, not of it being taken away from me and TSA not approving it. But, well, just have to wait. Just have to wait till we get through TSA. Anyways, uh, that's a little bit of an uh, update. So, yeah. Also, my dad's, or our neighbor Lou, came by to show to show me and my, and my dad his new lawnmower. And it uh, looks very brand new and very well designed. And I didn't really get to getting around to um, filming that because, like, nothing was coming up. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, that's my other update, and we'll be on our way to the airport soon. Here at West, uh, Westchester County Airport. It's a small airport here in New York. So my flight does not depart until an hour later, but I'm here. I got all my goods. 
I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can't probably see it very well because I'm, I'm on selfie mode, but yeah, now I'm just waiting to see if they'll board it's very soon. And um, and also TSA gave me a pat down yet again. It's most likely the way these uh, pants are made. I don't know why it says I have something in my groin area for them to give me a pat down. I had to let them do it without incident. So yeah, and once again, I got my bag got pulled out because of my belt. That always worries me, but yeah. So now we're just waiting to board the flight, hopefully soon. Right now I'm just gonna enjoy my goods and keep uh, my Instagram followers and Facebook profile updated.
in Orlando, Florida. I'm gonna have to switch over to my video camera because my phone's currently running out of battery, so I'll have to find my sister and yeah, and then I'll move on the vlog from there, so I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Okay, we are here at Marriott Downtown Inn. I think that's what it's called. We're here at our hotel. We're here in Orlando, Florida. First, I'm gonna give you a look of what the view is like. I gotta not trip on this wire. I'm charging my phone, by the way. So this is what the view looks like from our room. We're on the seventh floor. It's starting to get dark out right now, but this is what it looks like from the outside. It was a little overcast and rainy when when I landed. It still looks a little bit like that. But some parts of this just looking out, you know, that way, just kind of reminds me of Vegas just a little bit, even though I know this is not Vegas. This is Orlando. Now, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the room. No, I'm not shutting that. I'm shutting this blind. I can't step back. I'm just charging my phone like I said. All right, so this is what our room looks like. So oh, the hotels that we stayed at is not was not usually like this. It was like mainly like carpeted with, with beds kind of like this, but the floor is all wooded. And we have our own sofa for relaxation, kicking back, and our own little desk. These are our beds. And right here, this is our desk slash seating area well this is actually a desk but we also have this tv that lets you access netflix youtube pandora well internet tv television it this te television pretty much does a lot we didn't try it out just yet and also this is what the restroom looks like this so this door rather than the usual hotel thing where the door just opens you actually pull this open just like this you have our, you have your own shower right here and this is the this is the sink and this is like this is a very well square looking sink so the hotel room is pretty fancy I'm gonna brush my hair a little bit because it's a little bit messed up right now and plus oh Sarah Sarah it's okay it's all right for it's spraying water I just like oh okay it's for my clothes but it's just a little full okay then all right i also this hotel does not have a pool unfortunately i thought it did but we we will get some recommendations so we're just going to kick back a little bit and then prepare ourselves to go and go eat some food we're, we're gonna have some uh, um vietnam uh vietation or something vietnamese, food? Yeah. vietnamese okay that's what it's called so, and also and also this is the menu i didn't see this yet this is the menu to the restaurant that they have. I gotta take a look at this. So yeah, I'll, as, hopefully my phone will have enough battery, but hopefully I'll keep you guys updated. Hey guys, so um, it's now been a few hours later. Yeah, I did just show you a tour of, um, what's that? I did just show you a tour of the room and I didn't really, and I said that we were going out for dinner and I know I said that um, I would, you know, document it or, you know, try to film it, but, um, oh, I but, um, the reason why I didn't film it is because, um, Sarah's friend, whose name is Tony, um, who I haven't seen in like, you know, 10 years, he's a great guy, is because, um, since I'm still kind of, like, kind of new around this whole vlogs thing, I'm just kind of, um, I didn't really want to make him feel uncomfortable. I mean, he's aware, and we did talk about, you know, that I've done some, uh, you know, filming in my days, you know, since, uh, well, for a long time now. Um, uh, but I didn't want to make, I wasn't sure if I, if I was going to, if he was going to feel uncomfortable with me just filming around. I don't know, but either way, um, Sarah, Sarah and Tony were just like talking like through, you know, throughout most of the, um, I, I don't know why I was saying, you know, because I know you don't know, but, uh, but you know, they just talked to the most part and I was silent because like they were talking and I, w they didn't give me a chance to, well, he didn't, well, they, well, they didn't get, gave me a chance to, you know, um, you know, for me to catch up on my life, I was able to do so, but yeah, for the most part, it was just like Sarah and Tony talking, so yeah, but 
If you follow me at Mr. Marky 50 on Instagram, I have pictures of what I ate. So, yeah, that's just about it. So now, I'm going to uh, move my suitcase to the sofa and then just, like, get prepared for bed. I'm going to let my hair down for this. And um, I'm, go I'm just going to get – and then we're going to go to the pit party. That's where I'll be able to hopefully get some coverage. There is going to be, like, one going on my Lego Fan 506 channel, and that's just about it. I'll let you guys know what goes on tomorrow. So – Right now, I just got to get ready for bed and get ready for tomorrow. So, let's do it. We are now here at Camping World Stadium. Okay, we're now making our way to Camping World Stadium for the first time. My sister Sarah, by the way, oh my, my, my fingers were in the way, that's her. All right, so we just had breakfast at the Marriott Downtown Inn, if that's how it was pronounced. There's the trailers across the street. We're now making our way to the entrances. Um, I, di I didn't get this on vlog, but when we were eating breakfast, there was also um, a worker of the hotel restaurant that caught eyes on this belt and then there was also a few people over there that also caught eyes on the belt too and fans drivers whenever they see this belt they get like so amused it, it just makes me and this thing feel like it's prestigious and it's very special as well we're now making our way to the entrances we do not have gold VIP we do not have gold box tickets because well they well they were expensive but like um, if we had those we would have to, we would get in an hour earlier, but we don't get in until 11. So we're now making our way toward the street and uh, we're getting ready to have some fun. Hopefully we'll meet some friends there. We're here making history. We're here at Cabin World Stadium and I'm here with this guy who's destined for greatness as well. This is Mr. Jesus Esparza. Yeah, what's up? Right. Jesus Esparza show and yeah, we're ready to part of history of Monster Gym World Finals. 20 in Orlando. Yep, we already made history by being at the final world finals in Las Vegas one year ago. And uh, needless to say, it was a great ride being there. But our journeys to San Boy Stadium are not over yet. Yeah, I might go to do the new, the new Monster Jam All Star Challenge, probably. So we'll see how it goes there. Yeah, the fans are ready, the drivers are ready, and we have like a lot of trucks wait, that we're waiting to see. But what is unfair, although the independent trucks, we are glad that they're here, what should be more fair is that if Feld was not being so cowardly as they are today, these independent trucks should be competing right here at yeah. the Stadium. Yeah, it, it sure is. Um, hopefully might, or they might go ahead to Hot Meals Monster Trucks Live, or other independents. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah. Yeah. Hashtag give Indies a chance. And yeah. you know, I know Feld, they might stay the way they are today, but I'm not giving up hope on it because one day they might change. We'll see what happens, but they should give Indies a chance. They deserve the spotlight. Yeah. Give Indies a chance using hashtag. You know? and, and needless to say, you forgot one thing. Corey Rumble, that Megalodon fire is actually rage. So he yeah. should stay in rage. Yeah, it's true. Yep. But anyways, we're ready to make history. I just want you to guys know, this guy rocks. He's destined for greatness. Let me know if we should be the Mazda Truck Driving Tag Team Champions. Tag Team Champion, yeah. Of course. <laughs> All right. Well, Jesus Esparza, subscribe to this guy. He's awesome, and I cannot wait to see him on the track one day. Yeah, hopefully one day. Yep. And needless to say, I just have one more thing to say. I start on the independence because Monster Jam is not so great as it is today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. And don't get me wrong, Monster Jam is my life and will always be my life. But independence start there because they are awesome. And we have the mascots coming in right now. Yeah, mascots right there. Uh, pirate. I hope this pirate's going to join the Kyrie Zane's pirate crew. Yeah. Oh, I. If you catch this guy on Instagram, he held my belt up for a selfie of his own. But anyways, guys, we're going to get ready to get in. We're ready to make history. Let's do this! Hey, guys, I don't have a lot of time. My phone's about to die. But we're here in our stands. Um, I didn't get a lot of vlogs around the pit party. I was just, like, having a lot of time with my sister, you know, getting you know, getting to know everyone. I met a lot of friends here, and it was a great timing. And people were... You know, saying, oh, I love that belt so much. That's well designed. Where did you get it? And such like that. And it was like a mind-blowing thing. It makes me feel special. Also, um, I just found out Tom Herzog, uh, the driver of Midnight Rider and the Alter Ego, you know, Carolina Crusher, he actually passed away today at age 36 from a heart attack. 
very heartbreaking news. Rest in peace, Tom. I hope you're up there in heaven doing very well, and hopefully a future will be very bright for your own truck. So rest in peace, Tom. You will be missed very dearly. So I cannot wait to watch this very show. Um, I'm going to get back to you probably like right later tonight because my phone's dying, as I said. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. So guys, we're ready to enjoy the show. I'm sorry I didn't really catch up so much, but you know, I was having a great time with my sister that I couldn't really bring it up. But anyways, um, I'll catch you guys up when I can. Guys, I'm so beat. My throat hurts after all that. What a night it has been. Hold on, let me turn on that, turn that off. What a night it's been. I cannot believe we just became part of history by become by being like one of the first people to I don't know what to say. My my brain is all on like block right now. But we had the time of our lives and we became part of history by being at the first world finals out of Las Vegas, Orlando. I mean, despite the fact that it was hot out, it was oh, so much fun and also it was raining out and there was thunder and just what I this is what I didn't think was gonna happen they had to delay the show for about 45 minutes I don't know how long it was and then at first they canceled the seven their seven truck jump thing because of the conditions and then after it was driving drying up so much they then said let's we're gonna do it again and they did and the, the freestyle it wasn't that good there was some good moments but it had its bad moments where a lot of trucks have breaking down and some freestyles didn't have so much in some moments and such but in the end this year's so this year's showdown champion Lindsay Reed became part of history not only becoming the first female driver to win the showdown but also on the same year won a world champion and thereby gave Scooby Doo his the first world title so yeah, it was quite a quite a ride, and also Blue Thunder may have not been part of the event, but he became he won his first title by winning the Speedster Obstacle Obstacle Course Challenge. And man, what a weekend it's been! I hope we can come next year, but we just have to wait and see. We're just gonna I'm gonna wash up, get ready for tomorrow, and I'm gonna document my journey home. So let's do it. Wait, why did I say do it? So, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say, guys. It's just that my my brain is all, like, wrapped up on stuff. I don't know how to say it. But we're going to get ready to hit the sack for the night. We're going to get out of the hotel and go to the big McDonald's. And, yeah, we're going to have some fun while we have it. And I'm going to document my train journey home. Hey, guys, I'm back. I'm sorry I didn't make another video, but um, my phone was dying and I wasn't able to do any updates. But we just came back from the show, day number one. It was really good. Okay, so um, yeah, despite the fact that the field was not what we, you know, thought it was gonna be, even if there was so many grave diggers and such, the show turned out to be pretty good. Lindsay Reed, I'm sorry if I'm sorry if I spoil if I'm spoiling anything to those who are not into Monster Jam or anything, or if you didn't see it. But if you follow social media, I'm pretty sure you got you know already. But Lindsey Reed in Scooby Doo shocked shocked the monster truck world by becoming the first female driver to win the showdown and be and be part of the field in racing. Biggest shocker ever! Oh, forgot one thing. In the two wheel skills championship, first place, Tom Mintz in Max D Fire. Second place. Earthshaker, Tristan England. Third place, Brandon Vincent and Gravedigger. But pe some people thought that, you know, Tristan England was way more deserving to win the championship. And I, I, I in a way, can agree. And now in racing, I can't, min I can't, like, really count up the bracket. But, biggest shocker ever. Proving that the Indies can be at their best. Jimmy Creighton and Bounty Hunter finally took his racing championship. He's been in finals before, and he's won the 2005 Freestyle Championship, but never won a racing title until now. Two-time champion, very well-deserving moment. Day one of racing, day, or day one of World Finals was very, was actually pretty good. Encore, Fire and Ice with a debuting of one of each on different teams. Soldier Fortune Ice, 
Gravedigger Fire. Day two, we're looking forward to. And also, um, we have been looking at the late night section of the menu. We do not know if we're going to be getting anything, basically. But we still have tomorrow and the day after, which will be our last day here before heading home. Anyways, we're going to head to bed and get ready for tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It is now day two. Our last day here in Orlando is tomorrow. Okay, so... Last night, as I said, it was a pretty good night. But there was some things. My sister had a little rocky start to the day. Um, because when we were uh, walking to the entrance, uh, she had... A, she had... I think it was this backpack right here. I don't know if it was that. I, or I think it was this one. Yes, it, I think it was this bag. She had like one of these um, small backpacks that like, like it wasn't big. It was like small enough. Um, so like at, at usually at um, at stadium events, if you bring like a um, clear bag, they just look through it and then just make sure that, you know, they you're carrying, you know, merchandise and such. Uh, but if you bring like a, a backpack or something that's, you know, that's valuable for its size. Well, not valuable, but that's fittable. Um, they just do the same thing. They open it, look through it, make sure you're good. But apparently, Camping World Stadium has only a clear bag policy. So they stopped my sister, and then she, they were like, you can't bring that bag inside. And then I, we went to some security guards, and we read the policy saying that, you know, clear that clear bags and other bags like on, on this amount of sizes are only permitted. But it didn't matter. They they said you gotta go get a clear bag. So she so she walked away, and she went to Target and bought a plastic um, another clear bag of her own. I don't know if it's here either, but um, is it here? I don't think so. Or is it? Here? Yeah, I don't think so. But um, it was too big. So, and the other thing was, is that, like, when I went inside, I had the two tickets, one for me and one for my sister, or one for Sarah, and, um, I accidentally, I didn't give her my, I didn't give her a ticket, I just took both of them inside with me, so, she came back the first time with the clear bag, and then, that didn't matter, she was being sent away again, because, like, her plastic bag, her clear plastic bag, <laughs> it was too big, so, then she came back around to the entrance where I originally uh, came in, and then, then I had to share my bag to hold her stuff, and then and she, that's when she came in. But well, thankfully for one thing though, um, I don't need these yearbooks for the rest of the weekend. I'm only care and and also thank and also here's um, these are the World Finals uh, 20 commemorative trucks, which I'm hoping to get uh, pa uh, straight packaging. Back to normal to some of them, at least two of them. One of them I will open, but but thankfully my my bag won't be so full of stuff this time today, so I'll be able to carry some stuff for her. Just hopefully, I just hope it won't be too much. So I don't know technically what my schedule is. Um, I don't want to push my sister to do something, but. And even though there is only just like a few amount of people that I have to see, that I would like to see, I just want to be sure to uh, get everyone, you know, hang out. And I also want to catch up with everyone that I know. Um, some, I mean, a couple of them could be the drivers, but, you know, most of them are fans and such around the community. So that's just about it. I mean, I don't want to go there very early, but I want, and we don't even get early entry anyway. We don't get in until 11 at, at all, until then. So... We're probably going to see what we can do. We might go there till, till 11, get to the line, and I might just see the few people, find some shade and such. And also, there is this fiberglass Carolina Crusher piece that caught my eye. Um, it is really expensive, but we did get like a deal on it, a possible deal. Hopefully, things will come around on that one, but if things don't come around, so be it. But um, yeah, I'm going to try to wrap my head around this plan, and then... See what happens for the rest of the day. Day two. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so 
I'm going to keep my phone on airplane mode so I can try and keep a little bit of a diary here as I can, though I won't be able to get too much because of Feld's policy with videotaping over the years recently. So today I'm going to be interviewed on the pre-show. I think this is the third time. I've been interviewed about four times by Monster Jam. One of them was uh, during a pit party in San Diego. The third time though was on the media board. Well, three times, until, which is today, is on the media board. One of which was not uh, live. And yeah, we had to go in a circle. The lift driver that was taking us a ride had brought us to that side. And my sister's on the phone while, while, we're, while I was talking. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to the VIP booth, get my pass there, and then we're gonna get in line and get ready to have some more fun. And I'm going to I'm going to pray that we do not get any rain. We might, but I'm praying that we don't. Hopefully, if it does, hopefully not as bad. So yeah, day two, here we go. Thank you so much. Thanks That's for humoring awesome, me. That's You're awesome. Welcome. Thank you. Do we you get a good shot. Yes, all right. Yeah, just in a few seconds. All right, I just got my VIP stuff right in here in this envelope. And while while I was there getting my stuff ready, this guy was so he loved this belt. He was he was so willing to ask if he can hold the belt up for a few pictures. The guy was awesome. And yeah, so for those of you who will be watching on the Monster Jam pre-show live who are not able to make it, just tune in on Monster Jam on Facebook and you'll be able to see me with this belt, which will make its Monster Jam debut. Well, although technically it's been at Monster Jam shows before, never on the pre-show, so stay tuned. Okay, so um, they revealed the Fire and Ice Grave Digger, and um, I tried to do like a live stream reveal about it on Instagram. It was taking too long, by the way, all these stupid bugs. Oh, we got Jesus in the background right there. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting ready for the big event, the main event. And so, um, yeah, when when I was trying to live stream the Instagram thing with uh, Fire and Ice Grey Digger reveal, it was taking too long and I was like taking a break because it was taking so long. But then like before I could even start it back up, they just revealed it and then I was like, you know, I'm just gonna re you know, live stream it anyway. So we're, we're here right now in the pit party. I'm waiting for my sister to come back. I'm, I want to see if I can meet, you know, Colton Michael Berger or Max D. I want to try to also meet, uh, I say, you know, say hey to Brandon Vincent and Tyler Menninga again. But what I really want to try to meet is Heavy D, uh, the Diesel Brothers. And I also want to try to meet Dennis Anderson, although I know it's unlikely, but hopefully I get to find him in a hotel. So yeah, we're here at Heavy World Stadium and we're getting ready to have some more fun. All right, so pit party's not over just yet. We're just getting a little bit of shade. A little bit. Okay, Sarah just had to go and get some food a little bit, a little bit of a snack. So, um, so we're just getting a little bit of shade right now before all the drivers come back. I just do hope I will be able to see, um, I will be able to see the Diesel Brothers, Cole Nigelberger, and, um, the uh, Tyler Meninga and, uh, Brandon Vincent. But I'm mostly hoping to see Dennis. They, they said that their innocents are not supposed to come back by four. So, um, yeah. So we're just stopping for a little bit of a meal. And uh, yeah, that's just about it. We're just doing very well. And we also reunited with a longtime friend of mine who I met in Vegas back in 20, 2012. <laughs> 20, 2012? No, 2012. And um, yeah, we, we caught up pretty good. Along, she got, he got along with my sister very good and such. And we just caught up on what my life has been and what his life has been. And hopefully uh, he should be able to come back to, uh, to come to MetLife Stadium. It's what he said he wants to do or would like to do. I just don't know yet. I'll just have to wait and see for myself. A little bit of a nacho snack doesn't hurt. So, the pit party, I mean, it's not just about over yet, but but it feels like it's over. We just left the pit party. Oh, where is she? oh she just went down there. So, we're here now at the stadium. I was waiting in line for Cole Nigel Burger, but I was waiting there for about 20 minutes. But then I was told that you know he's not coming back, which is really a, a huge letdown. So I was like, I'm just leaving this thing. And also, I got bright news. I just bought the side panel for Carolina Crusher. Yay! I don't collect a lot of fiberglasses. I, I'll get like a few now and then, but I mean, I'm not gonna be collecting like thousands of it. But if I'm gonna be collecting a little more, I might have to get smaller pieces now because those are a lot more expensive. I might have to find smaller ones, but yeah. And also right here we have 
look at this look at this view right here it's so beautiful we have much more of Orlando right over the horizon we have the city and right here we have a little bit of behind the scenes I think that's a little bit of the parking lot but we have more more behind the scenes like right there you can see the I'll have to rotate the camera around but there's like a fiberglass max deep piece and there's also some behind the scenes stuff right over there let me switch it around so now right there you can see there's the fiberglass uh, maxi fire there's more trailers over there and right as i said over there you have more of the orlando city and right here you have more palm trees going right along it's really good it's really beautiful and also what was i saying oh yeah so we're here at the stadium we're out of the shade out of the sun it was very hot out so if you live out like right at new york new jersey something like that it's not it's not like the temperature right here it's hot it's like summer already it's like a little bit of vegas but no i mean it's beautiful but at the same time it's very hot so i'm gonna get ready i got my vip uh, vip pass for the priest show live interview so stay tuned i'm also on facebook live that just look at this very out just very beautiful to see the you see the surroundings this guy all over the country at monster jam events he's originally from new york say hello to marky marky we know you've got a lot of monster jam knowledge up there in that brain of yours tell us who you think is going to come out on top here tonight well for the high jump i know that there's one man capable of pulling it off and that is a man who claims he is the king of air jim kohler the avenger he likes Avenger and Jim Kohler. I bet he's not the only one out there pulling for Jim. Marky, who do you like in freestyle? Oh, you got you know you got a big field of all these fantastic competitors out there. They all work their tails off more than anything. But if I have to brainstorm one person, that is Tom Mintz, Max D. Fire! We gotta get this guy a mic and get him behind the desk. Hey, Marky, I understand you got some friends you want to shout out here. Oh, by the way, oh yeah, that's right. Brandon Vincent, Tyler Manninga, and one of my friends in the stands right now, Jesus Esparza, this belt right here, I'm putting up for grabs. I'm willing to defend this title anywhere at any time. And I have one word to describe each and every one of you when you go up against Mark. C-R-U-S-E-E-D, Clutch! Give it up for my boy Mark, future Monster Jam driver right here. My heart is full of adrenaline right now. I just went on that mic and put on the best promo I've ever done thus far. All right, I'm now on my way to the stands. We're getting ready to tear it up. Let's do this! Okay, we're here in, in the concourse area. It's, it, the show's close is almost over. The freestyle has been nothing but nuts. The current leader, it's, it, current leader is, is the showdown champion, Lindsey Reed and Scooby-Doo. There has been also a ton of bizarre freestyles, but none of the drivers were able to succeed. Not even Kevin Murphy, who I believe was the second best of, you know, Lindsey Reed. I wasn't sure if he was able to top it. Not in score, but I'm not sure. Maybe they have acrobatics. But anyways, it started to rain, and everyone started taking cover through sweaters and ponchos. But now, but now right up here, I don't know if they'll be able to make it out. But look, there's a lot of people gathering from the stands. It started to rain like crazy. We were taking covers from ponchos and stuff like that, but now they're saying, due to the inclement weather conditions, the event has been temporarily delayed. Hope you can re I, No, I think I'll be able to read it. Due to the inclement weather, the event has been temporarily delayed. Please seek shelter under cover concord areas until further notice. It's a surprise that they'll delay the show all because of the rain. Hopefully this doesn't last very long, but I'm hoping that once the show's over, we just get out of here and avoid, get out of this weather conditions. This is a big surprise. So let's just hope this delay is just not very long. The crowd's going ballistic. History has been made. Lindsay Reed won the showdown last night. Now she made history by becoming the next women as a Medusa to win a freestyle champion. But she also won the same world title the same year. Oh my God. I mean, it was a crazy world finals, but we had, there was some bad moments. Guys, sad news. This poster is done. I can't keep it anymore. Somehow there was some water. I don't know if it was the rain or if it was something from water or something, the water bottle, but this poster is ruined. Some water caught up on there. Look right there. Carolina Crusher. Blue Thunder's all ruined. And look at this, look at this side of the poster. 
most of this poster. It, it's all gone. Thanks to some water. I do not know what to... I, I can't... This poster doesn't have its value anymore. I, I'm i sorry if I'm hurting your feelings. If, you, if you're going to say keep it, but I can't keep it in that condition. Man, I'm so upset right now. Even... And I thought I, I that the the this bag right there that I used it's waterproof so I oh God I don't can't really wrap my head around it I hate when this thing happens it happens to some of my yearbooks now and then I do not want oh my oh my God I do not know what to think I'm really just hoping I have an I I do have an overboard poster that I have signed. I'm going to hang that one up for sure. I guess I am running out of room. I am running out of space for posters, so I do not know what to think. But I'm really still sad about this. All right, it's our last day here. We just woke up. So here's our view again. It's a lot more sunny out. I don't know I thought it was. My throat feels extremely like crap right now. I'll fix it in a minute, but it's our last day. The majority of my stuff is packed. And these are my clothes for today and tomorrow. And I'm gonna be sleeping on the train for the night. And then again in a Newark train station at around uh, about 6.42 or something. Uh, let me look at the train ticket right here. All right, I leave at six oh seven thirty two, and then I get in at six twenty three. That's it. So I'm gonna finish packing my stuff and get ready, and we're gonna go to the biggest McDonald's, and then if we still have time left, we'll see what we can do. So here we go, final day here in Orlando. long a little bit more than what we're bargaining for so we're gonna be here for I think about 20 minutes who knows how long it'll be okay we're now heading towards a mall right across the street so we just came out of Target I only bought like about a couple DVDs and um, and uh, pure muscle monster truck with the crazy paint job oh there's ducks Look at these ducks. Cute little ducks relaxing by a pond. So we're actually heading towards the mall right now and see what we can do there while we need a few more minutes. So I just bought a DVD, couple DVDs and um, one truck I was able to find. There's another duck. But um, yeah, I was pretty much able to find all that. And um, there wasn't any Monster Jam Spin Master toys, surprisingly. Thought there would be at least a few, but no. We're gonna see what happens at this mall. And then I think after this one is when we're gonna drop Sour off at the airport. And then, then I'm heading to the train station. So, Nothing really else has happened, but um, yeah, but like here's where we're doing right now. We've been dragging our luggage all across, well, I don't know how to say, it. just like all across town, I guess. Hope people don't mistake them as if we're homeless. Oh yeah, let's see what we find at the mall if we have time. Okay, so we're here at the biggest McDonald's in the United States, or maybe even the world. So we just tried the pizza, the pasta, and and for the first and I actually I actually did try the cinnamon bites, but they actually they actually sent us another one by mistake. But we just tried what we could, and they're in a way they're delicious, but it's just that they really need some improvements. 
Like the pasta just needs a little bit more of a salty kick to it. And the pizza, I mean, not really as much. It just tastes a lot more like um, something you get at an Italian restaurant. And plus, um, although I know they don't want the cheese to burn, they have to like really crisp up the crust. Let it cook longer. Yeah. And, oven. Yeah, in the brick oven. And yeah, just I don't know what flavor. I don't know if it doesn't. If they have to add any more flavors, but yeah, there is some just stuff that they just need to improve on. But other than that, it was pretty good. And oh, oh the other the problem. Best thing oh, was. oh yeah, I'll I'll get I'll get to that in a second. Oh, the other thing about the pizza was is that like there was grease on it. There was just like a like a little bit of grease on it. I think that's what really made the the crust a little bit more floppy. But yeah, yeah, the best part was that Philly cheesesteak. It's gone it's now. Gone. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the Philly cheesesteak, it wasn't like, um, you know, a cheesesteak you would get in Philadelphia. It did have a little bit more of like a Big Mac or cheeseburger-like taste to it, but it w that was actually the best one. So the, the Philly cheesesteak was actually the number one thing we just tasted. I would say number two was the pasta. I mean, uh, yeah, not as much flavor or salt to it, but it, but but this actually just tops the pizza. That's just what really needs to improvement on. So yeah. Anyways, we're just waiting for was it Tony? Yeah, we're waiting for Tony to come pick us up and then just see what what else we can do in the meantime before we go our separate ways for now. So yeah, the other thing I that I might be able to fish is these fries. Uh, Sarah doesn't really want anything else, but yeah, but I'm just starting to feel a little full. But anyways, we're just gonna wait for Tony to get here and see what else is next. America. The flag is blowing in the breeze, but we have storm. We have a storm on the horizon. Look at that. And I think that's supposed to be rain right there through the clouds. I, I'm probably wrong. Right across the street we have checkers. And also here's another unique thing about this McDonald's. I don't want to disturb anyone. But look at this drive through It has a tunnel. That's pretty unique. So yeah, um, I'm just out here getting some fresh air. Yeah, it's not as hot, but it's, it's warm. It's a good temperature. But... Now, we're gonna be leaving this place shortly, so if you wanna come here and have some fun, try out the stuff, that's up to you. But the food, oops, Yo. excuse me. Yo, what are you vlogging? Yep, vlogging. Do you have some guys wearing a suit? Yeah, yes. wearing a suit. That's great, that's great. What you vlogging for? Oh, yeah, I'm just documenting my vacation. I'm just oh, going back to New York. Oh, you from New York? Yes, that's right. Yeah, welcome to Florida. All right. Well, best of luck, guys. Thank you. It's the biggest McDonald's in the world. Yep. Yep. Some uh, unexpected guests. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, if you want to come here and try out the food, I mean, it's up to you. But the pizza and the pasta is just a little... It's, it's just a little bit of a bland. So, yeah. Um, I, I don't think I got the guys very good because I wasn't on selfie mode, but yeah. But anyways, uh, we have a storm on the horizon, and yeah, I'll get you. I'll get you guys back to when anything else comes up. What is this? There's a twenty dollar bill on the floor. I would like to keep it, but I can't. I think I might have to report it to a Target employee. Okay, so we're here at Target. We're gonna pick up some stuff right here that might catch my eye. And we're just gonna hang out, probably hang out for here for a little while until it gets near the time when we have to depart. So, yeah, I'm just gonna see if I can find someone to hold this 20. I don't wanna keep it like this, so, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna find what I can find and all of that and just see where we go from here. So, yeah, hopefully I won't waste too much battery though. I gotta keep it ready. Well, I can't find Spin Master right now, but I think I caught. Ooh, jeez. I found a couple of movies, but I think I found one truck that caught my eye. I'm gonna walk down the rest of the aisles and see if I can find anything with Spin Master. We're here at the mall. Look at this right here. We're here at the mall. This is the last spot that we'll be at it for probably a little while. And when we get the chance, we might sit around and I might charge my phone. There is some outlets around here. So, hold on. It's very hard to push these suitcases around. There's a stairwell. 
nice little stairwell. It's a lot, I think, yeah, we're on carpet. It's a lot more easy to push on them on tile than it is carpet. So I'm gonna try to find a store and or just walk around a little bit and see what we can find. This is a pretty fancy looking mall. So I'm charging. So I'm charging my phone. I'm just here having a drink. Berry lemonade. Yeah, so nothing is really around this mall or anything. Just um, just some random shops like you know, surrounding clothes and jewelry and such, and some restaurants. But yeah. So yeah, after this, we're gonna be going our separate ways. Here's one bittersweet moment. I'm saying goodbye to my sister for now. Love you. Love you. you. Mm. Another good year, Monster Jam. Yep. Hope, See you next year. Yep. <laughs> yeah, hopefully next year. Hopefully later this year. Safe okay. travel. Bye. Okay, I'm using this Uber to now go to the train station. Let's go. Okay, right over here, well, well over this building is the train station. Um, I think I'm on the wrong side. I'm think I don't know if I'm supposed to be over there, but over here it didn't look like there was any people. Um, it is like another part of the station. I'm going to see if I can get in. If I'm not able to get in this way, I'll have to go all the way this way and see if I can cross the tracks and see if I can find this uh, get in the station. So yeah, um, I don't. I only have like two hours left before my train gets here and departs. So hopefully. I'll be able to get on my train and get home safely. So let's pray. I do not miss it. Okay, we are here at Orlando Station. Yeah, okay, it turns out I was able to get in there. There was not as much people here yet. I'm gonna give you a quick surrounding of the of the station. So my train's not gonna be here for another two hours. We do have a lounging area. We'll be able to sit in and wait. Um, it, I, this is the first time I've been, it's since 2010 that I've been to the station. So, um, yeah, I, I was unfamiliar with the surrounding, but it was only because of the, you know, temperature. So, yeah, um, this is where I got off the train at one point. I'll show you a quick surrounding. All right, well, here we are in Orlando Station. Here are the surroundings. Yeah, when I came here the first time, I actually came from right there, stopped right here, got off here, and then I, that's where my train got off right there. So, yeah, uh, there might be another train coming, but, yeah, my train doesn't get here until 7. So, um, yeah. But this is the surrounding of Orlando Station. And that's what the direction I'll be heading to. I have to talk with the people and make sure if my train's gonna be on this side or if it's gonna be right there or right there on that side. Who knows? But I just have to double check. But anyways, there's that platform and there is the direction. So anyways, let's go check in. It is raining so hard right now and it is sunny. I'm gonna give you guys a quick look. It's raining so hard at the station right now. This is insane. I did hear that there was supposed to be a you know, rain or a storm, but I didn't think it was gonna be around this time, but look at this. It's sunny and rainy at the same time. Sorry. All right, so it's gonna be another couple minutes before the train gets here. It actually got delayed another 30 minutes. I think it was because of the rain that passed by. So, also what just happened, I don't, you're not, I don't know how to say this, but uh, just now I was looking down the tracks, just looking around my, my own business, but like, and then I see a light down there, although all the way down there, I don't, I'm not gonna really do that again. I'll explain why, but um, so I saw the light, I'm using the camera, I'm just trying to see if it was a train. It's probably, it probably is a train. So then all of a sudden, I'm like, and I'm just like waiting for the, you know, microphone or conductor, or whatever it is behind. Person, yeah, you know, when you hear the speakers, you know, that says, there's a train approaching, please stand back by the head, behind the yellow line and make sure you're, you know, blah, blah, blah. But then all of a sudden this woman, this woman, who I think uh, takes care of the luggage is like, step away from the yellow line. So I like do like this thing where I'm surrendering and I'm like stepping back, you know, just showing, you know, I'm honest and I'm, you know, it's another way of also saying, all right, I'm, you know, all right, all right, I'm sorry. So I'm aware, you know, step back by the yellow line, I get it. But, you know, I just thought, you know, the speakers would do that. And then, yeah, we're staying back from the yellow line. The least that I'm gonna go to is right, right up here. 
But like, I'm not gonna do it again in risk of getting yelled at again, but I saw the light coming from right down there. So yeah. Yeah, even when I lean back, I'm just not gonna do it. But it's uh, 7.53 or something right now. We have another 10 minutes before the train gets here. So yeah. But I do have my luggage and I am ready for the train, so yeah. I'm not trying to violate anything by standing right at the L line. I'm just trying, you know, looking down, looking around, but like, you know, again, I would just stand back by the L line, you know, just so, you know, when the speakers come up. So, yeah, okay, here comes the train. All right, my feet are right behind the L line, but I think I could show the light right here. Just enough. I don't know if you can see it or not, but right down there, right down there, right in the trees, you can see like a light. I'm going to give you a quick glance, real quick. It's not gonna focus, but yeah, right down there. There it is, there you see the light. That's the train coming. The train's pulling in right now. I'm staying right behind the yellow line though. Okay hey guys, um, the camera angle is not so good, but we'll have to make this work. On my bag, get my laptop all set up. All right, I'll get this out of the way. I'm hoping my uh, live stream of the Amtrak tour can come through. I do have Wi-Fi, but yeah. Anyways, um. Anyways. Um, I just did a live stream tour of my room. I just hope it can pull through. I do not know if it will technically, but we'll hope for the best. So, um, we're, the camera position, as I said, is not good, but I'll have to make it work. So we're right here. We're now on board the Amtrak, uh, Amtrak train number 92 heading to Newark, New Jersey. We're actually moving right now. I'll give you a quick, quick peek out there. You can't really see anything, but yeah, we're moving. All right, let's get this camera back in the position it was in. So um, we're on our way back to Newark right now. Um, I have until 11 so I can get my bed all set up. So um, yeah, so we're on our way back and um, right now I'm just gonna get settled in, do some stuff on the internet, catch on, and just about do stuff as, do as much as I can. But anyways, um, I'm not probably not gonna do as much stuff on, on the train. But like when I can tomorrow, I will, um, I will go to the snack bar and probably show around. But yeah, that's just about what I'll do. Anyways, guys, I'm I'm gonna get ready, do some stuff for the night, and get ready for bed. So I'll probably do one more clip before I head to bed. So yeah. All right, I'm just about to go to bed. Um, I don't think you can see anything out there. But there's one more thing I gotta show you. See. You see like this belt buckle right here? This right here is just protect you. Um, it, this, if you're, I'm referring to the live stream. In the live stream I did do a room tour, but I just wanna show you this one thing. When you use the top bunk, this thing right here is gonna keep you from accidentally rolling out and falling and getting a serious injury. So, just in case if, well, I, did, I know I forgot, but just in case a lot of you were worried about like, you know, saying, you know, what's gonna happen if you roll out, don't worry. This will keep you safe and up here and you won't go anywhere. Okay, it, the sleep went actually pretty good. The 
trailer park. That was a trailer park you actually saw. I don't know if you were able to see it through the trees, but we are now in the North Carolina area. Uh, there's some classic trucks, tired. Oh, and some cows too. So we are now in the North Carolina, Carolina area. It's now 10 a.m. We have another few hours left in the trip before I'm at Newark. So, yeah. I'm gonna stay in this room for another couple of hours and then when it's around in the afternoon, I'm gonna see if I can get to the um, snack bar and then see if I can be able to get anything there and show you guys around. So, um, yeah. I'm just now in the North Carolina area. Here's the outside. Now we now have daylight. Here comes a crossing. Traveling as fast as that car. So, um, yeah, that's just about it, and I'll keep you guys updated. Can I just see a little bit of the front of the train, a little bit? Yeah, if it makes like a big turn like that, you can see the engine. I hope you can get a clear view soon, but I think we're gonna have another storm on the horizon. There you go. See how all dark those clouds are. Yep, it might rain very soon, but it doesn't matter. It's now uh, 11, 11 a.m. and we still have a few more hours to go, so I don't have to worry about rain, but I just thought, like, you know, I show the area, I show it, like, just like, you know, that there's some dark clouds, just like right there, right down the horizon, right down there. Uh, and there's even some, I can't, I might, might not make it out, but there's some gray on top of us and overcast. And, yeah, and let's see if we can get one more view. I don't think we will, but I think you guys can feel me. Just when I showed you the dark clouds, look at this. It is raining like crazy out there. It's a storm. You can't really see the rain dropping low. There's a there's a rain of there's a cloud of rain just like going through this area right here. The Newark, when I pull into Newark, it is going to be like a closed station. So I, even when I pull into it, it, rain won't be a problem. But yeah, I'm showing you that there is now rain going through this area right here. I'll try to show you the windows. You guys see that? You probably might not. You probably don't. You probably couldn't make out the rain too. But look, look. See all that? See all that wet out there? It's raining like hell. I think that when you ride in a train or if you're somewhere at home, I don't know. Some some people say that rain, just like when you're, you know, when you know you're safe in there, you just know that, like, you know, it gives you some sort of comfort in a way or relaxation. But that's only if a storm becomes severely serious and you can be in big trouble. Okay, guys, I didn't catch us on camera, but we were just leaving the station right back there. And as we were going over a bridge, there was one street that was, that was flooded. And there was cars driving right over, right, just driving right through them. Um, like it wasn't like completely. Um, it was completely flooded, but it wasn't like a like a flow. Like the water just got, goes very fast. Not like enough to like sweep your car out of the street into the woods and then you lose it forever. Or you lose your life. It's just like no. It was just like it's just high tide water that's just you know gentle and such like that. And but like the cars were driving like really slow through it. I doubt I'll get anything else on camera that's exactly like that. But I'm just telling you what I saw. I didn't get the chance to film it because, you know, it was a thing that just happened out of nowhere and the train's already starting to pick up speed. So, yeah, I, I think it was just raining really bad through this area. The raining is kind of like slowing down. There's still a little bit of rain, I think. But, yeah, other than that, that's all. I mean, the rain is not so bad right now. Hopefully, like after this, I'll be 
this. We'll get only two more snacks just to take back to my room. So I just came back from the dining room. I had some pizza and a hot dog and um, I was gonna get some parfait yogurt. Well, I actually got the, the guacamole uh, dip <laughs> dip things and I was also gonna get a parfait yogurt, but I did, they didn't have any, but that was okay. So I just came back from the dining car. It's not the actual dining car where they have like the fancy foods. It was like, kind of more like a snack bar, but they do have like uh, paninis, pizza, hot dogs, sandwiches, bagels, snacks, drinks, just everything you need. And also I had a Diet Pepsi which really was helping my throat. I don't feel as bad as I was last night when I went to bed. But after, um, you know, waking up and having that, you know, that Diet Pepsi, you know, that really like straightened my throat out just a little bit. So, yeah. Also my dad just called and he looked up when my train is supposed to stop around 6.20 p.m. So. Still have a few hours to go. I might go back to the dining car if I feel hungry again, but right now I feel good. So yeah, let's keep having some fun while we're the train trip lasts. As I enjoy these dips, we're going through a train yard. Look at all those freight lines. Well, not technically not like train engines, but you know, cars. Currently, you know, being towed by CSX or BNSF. I'll give you a quick look through. <clears throat> We're going through a big train yard with the freight lines. And here's a CDSX. <clears throat> That's a local freight line that passes by my house. So I know there's different locations and there's a couple more. So this is like a CSX yard in a way. And we're coming to an end of the yard. So we are now three hours left in the trip. It's 3.20. I'm getting myself all relaxed right here. Give you guys another quick look out there. We're actually, I think we're, we might not be anymore, but we were in the Virginia area. I think we still are though. But, I'm just getting myself relaxed. I might eat something at 5, which will depend on how much we have left time. How much time we have left or stuff like that. I don't feel too hungry right now. But, who knows. Oh, there's something. Dock ends. Going right past the lake. What else is, uh, is that it? It looks like it at this point. So yeah, nothing. Ooh, I'm tired. <sighs> Nothing's really happening yet. Other than that, we're close to the end of the trip. It's been over. I don't even know. Um, it was 12 hours. 12 hours, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19. Um, I think it was around 18 hours since we left Orlando. But yeah, I'm enjoying this train ride nonetheless. But yeah, we're closing in on the trip, so here we go. Let's finish it. I'm only going to catch the last of it, but this right here is the Amtrak Superliner with all the car cars or, or the cars that carry, like, it's an auto train. I was unable to catch the whole thing. Well, this was the first time I saw this one in person. That's the Amtrak Superliner. It has like all of these cars that are like double deckers of some sorts. I have to see what that's like in person. But that, I think that's where um, I also have to look at more into that. But the Amtrak Superliner is where um, it takes you to further locations. Like if you're going like to Texas or California, Colorado just anywhere um, like halfway all the way across the United States um, that's where also that that's where it gives you like the more comforts of a home or something again I'll have to look more into that and the auto train has like these freight cars that put inside like all the cars I think that's if like if you're moving of any way or any kind I might be wrong I'm probably wrong here but yeah, but like, but like that was the first time I ever saw the Amtrak Superliner. I did once see the Amtrak 
I did once see an Amtrak California liner or the Sea Fear or something like that once a person when I was in California. Okay guys, we're still closing in and we're now passing Washington DC. The Washington Monument. <laughs> I visited this place once before. I think it was back in, I don't know if it was 20, I think it was 20, 2008, 2009, it was a long time ago, but I drove here, drove by here once before, now, oh, and I also traveled this place, I traveled by this place before, back in 2010 when I went to Orlando, but yeah, right now here it is, so it's disappearing, I think we're going to stop here and switch train engines, because I know what happened here most likely, there's, another, there's a memorial there. That might be the Washington Memorial if I'm wrong. I don't know if I'm right or wrong. I'm probably not going to see everything through the trees, but... <sighs> I'm going to show you as much as I can. I'm feeling exhausted right now. It's been a pleasant trip. Let's see if we catch anything else. Just a little more. Can't see that memorial anymore. Some traffic here. I uh, I don't know if we'll be able to see anything else. We're now just going by the city area. We're probably gonna sit here for a little while. But anyways, um, if I catch anything else here in Washington D.C. as we keep moving, I'll try to film it. Here's a little bit more D.C. The Capitol is up there over this building. <coughs> and still, we still don't see any train. And I'm trying. Then I was trying to text my dad, saying like I'm getting close, but for some reason my message will not send. Here we're gonna catch a good view of the Capitol. Hopefully these trees do not get in the way. There it is. The capital. And we're now gonna go through a tunnel. It looks like nighttime, but it's not. Right up there is the Acela. This is a, th that was the first Amtrak train that I took when I came here to Washington, D.C. for a trip. Oh, yeah, there's people down there. I'm trying not to catch them on camera. But that's the SL right up there. Okay, the train actually just went quiet. Yeah, because they're going to, because, like, I think the other stations are, like, small or only fitting for speed trains of some sorts. They're going to take the original train engine and then they're going to switch it out with um, with another with a different train engine and then um, and then that's when we'll continue on. So yeah, this happened before. I think it happens. All, it does happen all the time, but they turned off the train because that engine that that right up here that's that's identical. Oh, it had settings on uh, that engine that one right up there that that's actually the one pulling these cars right now is going to be switched out with a smaller speedster Amtrak like train I don't know if it it is like this is so so I don't know if it's a silver meter or something like that but they're gonna switch it out this is probably gonna take about half hour or an hour before we continue on I'm who knows but yeah so if anything comes up may I'll keep you updated all right this is the is this the Atlantic coastline? Is this what it's called? Oh no, Virginia Railway Express. Okay, either way, this was the train that we passed by uh, back back that way. But no, well, well, yeah, it is. But that was the engine now pulling in. We're still in the process of waiting to get back on track as soon as they switch engines on the Amtrak. There is no, there is nothing saying about it being broken down or anything. Okay, train is turning back on right now. I think they got the engine uh, reinstalled in here or installed. I just know that they uh, had to switch out the engines. 
So uh, we'll be on our way apparently in a few minutes after they do some testing. We are now moving. No, this train isn't moving. Just wait. There's the engine. See, we're moving. <coughs> if it makes a wide turn, um, I'll show you a little bit of the surroundings. There is another transit train going down there. And right there we have a mark. Oh, that's another, um, that Amtrak train is actually just for, uh, like, a, it's like a work train, like a substitute of some sort. And, but right here we have a mark train. I was, I was about to be like, uh, when this train makes a wide turn, I will, uh, rotate the camera and show if, to show the engine if necessary. But we are back on track. Going past more Virginia Railway Express trains in the yard. I think we could be coming up on a turn right here. Probably, I don't think so. It looks like it though, but there is more of the yard. Just when I'm trying to uh, get back on the internet, just when I thought they shut it down for some reason, there it's not working. We still have another two hours left, but. Oh, oh, this is pretty cool. Here's more. There's an Amtrak Superliner car. And oh, and there's more of the Amtrak. And there, there's actually a Superliner right by there. More Amtrak trains parked. Oh, I think the engine was switched out with uh, engines like something like that. That I think they switched out uh, the engines like that with that. <laughs> but yeah, more Amtrak trains are parked right here. But yeah. See right up there. I knew it. That is not the engine that was originally pulling us when I left Orlando. When oh wait, I I'm off of it. This it's probably the sun, but that is not the engine that was pulling us originally when we left Orlando. See, when we um got to Washington D.C., this railway line, like right here. This, uh, this is probably where the smaller slash faster trains come into play. So when it comes like to that halfway point, that's where they switch engines to, to make it a lot more fitter to these kind of tracks. I, I, I might be wrong, but it's, I think it's just the way how it goes. We're now stopping. I think it's another station. We still have a few more stops to go, and we have one more hour. Okay, so I just called my dad, and... Um I was like asking if he's at the station and he was like no I'll leave now and then um, he I could have sworn he told me that the train would pull in at 625 but uh, but I was wrong and I had a feeling I was right the first time before he told me like over the phone this morning so because of the delay that we had back there in Orlando okay we're now supposed to pull in at around 745 p.m. so I kind of figured it was going to be around that time just when we were leaving, but just like when he called me this morning, he was like, the train will come in at, at uh, 6.20 or something p.m., but I was wrong there. So we still have uh, another hour left into this trip. Okay, we are now in Trenton. We now only have about one more stop, so I got to get my stuff ready. Okay, we just passed by Newark Liber Liberty International Airport Station, and we're pulling into Newark right now, so now I'm going to switch over to my phone. Alright, I just got off the train. It was a nice little trip. Oh, my good luggage is heavy. Uh, there is an escalator, but it's coming up. So I'm not going down to street level so I can get picked up by my father and go home. It was a nice trip. It was bittersweet, but times have to come to an end. So, yeah, I'm going to find my father now, and we're going to go home. All right, well, I just got outside. It's cold. Well, not really cold, but it's chilly. And I thought Orlando was really hot, but this is so cold. This is what I miss about New York a little bit. All right, I'm gonna hope my dad comes right here. Just got picked up. Chicken burger. Chicken burger, if you didn't hear what I said. That is so good. Chicken burger is really good. Well guys, I'm back home. I'm just finishing unpacking. 
So, I don't have a lot left to talk about. I'm just going to finish doing what I do, so I'm going to end the vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe, and share with your friends and family. So, And um, if I manage to put the channels or videos, anything on top of the video screen, I will post my McDonald's video and um, the my channels. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for watching vlog number 20. Glad you got to be part of it. And I'm glad I got to be part of history. Thank you guys for watching and I love you all.